and welcome to Tarot Readings by Nikki. My name is Nikki. I offer free monthly tarot readings for every zodiac sign, but these are only general readings, so if you would like a personal reading just for yourself, or if you have a question that needs answered, or um, you would just like a general overview of what's going on in your month, or your week, or day, whatever, you can always find me at tarotreadingsbynikki.blogspot.com, and like always, I will have that linked in the description box below. And now, on to your reading. Hello Pisces, Pisces Sun, Pisces Moon, and Pisces Rising, and welcome to your free monthly tarot reading for October 2018. Laid before you is your spiritual advice card. I am doing um, a little bit of a different reading this month. I, I'm going to be doing an elemental reading um, rather than a timeline reading like I did last month. But the cards will still look familiar to you if you watch me. Um, your spiritual advice card comes from my Wisdom of Avalon Oracle deck. And then the rest of the reading, I will be using my Gilded Tarot. Okay, I have already shuffled and meditated over the cards. So with that, we're just going to go ahead and pull them and get right into it. So for your spiritual advice, you receive the Death card. Now death, it, you know, it can come in all forms. This is not necessarily a physical death of, you know, a person into dying. Um, it could be, but um, for most of us, that's not going to be the case. Um, for most of us, this is all about transformation. It's about change. It's about new things coming about. It's about being out with the old and in with the new. And the death card reminds us that there is a season for everything. So, you know, what, what goes now fertilizes the ground for new growth. So, you know, be reminded of that. So something is going on in October that is fresh, that is new, and, um, and you know, hopefully very positive. I do feel that for most of us, this is a change for the, for the better, for the good. So we're going to go ahead and pull the rest of the cards and see what else October has in store for us. And I say us because I'm a Pisces also. For your Earth card, you have received the Page of Cups. Now, your Earth card is all about your work, your, your finances, your career, that type of thing. And the Page of Cups, this is an emotional card. This is a card about emotion. So, um, when it comes to your work sector <clears throat> or your work part of your life, you know, I feel that whatever you are doing, whatever project you're, you're working on or um, whatever connections you have in that field, it's going to um, be emotionally uh, satisfying to you. Now, it is a page, so this may be something that is a little um, new to you. It, it may not be something that you do all the time. Um, this, this will be something that is kind of unfamiliar to you, but it's all very good. It's all very positive, and you are, um, you know, emotionally, this is satisfying for you. So, you know, a, a lot of you, I feel, will be working, um, doing something creative. Uh, I'm not so sure it'll bring you financial gain, but it, it will emotionally be satisfying to you. Okay, with your air card, with communications and thoughts, you have the Queen of Swords. So, you know, Pisces, this is, this is the month where you are going to... Um, be very confident in what you think. A lot of the times, us Pisces, we're very wishy-washy, okay? We're very objective and almost too objective, you know, when it comes to our thoughts. We're very um, gray, you know? Some people are very black and white. We're very gray. Everything is gray. So um, this is the month where you can kind of be sure with your thoughts, be certain, and be confident that you are on the right track. Now, you know, when you feel this way, don't forget to, you know, take others' advice if it is offered. But I feel like you're going to be the one who's giving the advice in the month of October. You're the one who's going to be quick-witted and, and know what to say and know how to articulate what you're trying to say. And um, your thoughts are going to be very clear on whatever the subject matter is. With your fire card for challenges and actions in October, you have the Ten of Pentacles. So this is wonderful. You know, this doesn't really present a challenge at all, uh, perhaps an action. But the Ten of Pentacles is, you know, that's money, finances, something that is worth something, you know, um, some kind of resource coming your way. 
And it's usually, when it's the Ten of Pentacles, it's usually something that's kind of like inherited or given to you without much work having to be done to get this. So that is, that's great. Um, you know, unfortunately, obviously, there are some of you out there that are going to probably um, experience some kind of physical death, perhaps in the family, and then you have, you're going to be receiving an inheritance. But for most of us, I do not feel that that is the, um, that's not the matter at all for most of us. For most of us, it's going to be um, finances coming to us in some other way. It's just us not having to make much of a, um, a work effort to um, get us there. Now with your water card for your emotions and your love, um, feelings, that type of thing, you have uh, the page of pentacles in reverse. So this is, you know, this is you struggling with all this newfounded financial gain that you have. Okay. Um, for those of you who have experienced an actual physical death and have received this, you know, from, you know, that, that way, this is going, it's maybe it might make you feel guilty. Um, it might, you know, be bittersweet to you. This card is in reverse. So, um, there's some kind of negative connotation to this, this new financial gain that is coming in October. And for those of you um, where this is just a change for you, this is something that's, you know, a little different than the normal. Um, it's, you know, it's, it may seem a little overwhelming, you know, it's, it's a good thing, but it's also a little overwhelming and you're not sure what to do with it. So, yeah, you know, I do feel that whatever change is coming in October, and there is definitely some kind of change, um, it's a positive change. Okay, so you definitely have a positive change coming in October. I'm trying to get all the cards in there so you can see them. But, you know, for your, you know, your work sector, I feel like you're doing something very artistic or something that is emotionally fulfilling to you. Maybe you're helping others. It may not be, you know, financially rewarding, but emotionally rewarding. Um, with your thoughts and communications, you are going to be on cue. You're going to be the one who's giving the advice. You're going to be very sure. And, and keep in mind that these cards may represent different situations. We always have a lot of different things going on in our month. It may, or it could pertain to one situation. It's really, it, it's probably going to vary for a lot of us. Um, and then with your fire card, with your actions, you're going to be receiving... Um, something of you know financial gain something of worth and you know you're really kind of unsure what to do with it you know romantically i don't see a lot of like romance and flowery things and gushy feelings going on for the month of october but um you're going to be dealing with other things so that's not really going to be a problem and that is your reading in its entirety pisces i hope that you found it helpful and hopefully it resonated with you if it did Please remember to push that like button and leave me a comment down below and subscribe if you haven't already subscribed because I'm here every single month and don't forget to push that bell so you get notified when I do post new videos because it's a little different every month and um, and don't forget um, check out your rising sign video and your moon sign video so you can find out a little bit more about what's going on in your month get a, a bigger overview of your month. And um, with that, uh, don't forget to visit me at tarotreadingsbynikki.blogspot.com.